This is another episode of Monthly Roundup, August 2024. We're doing our usual informative episode here. Hello. We're letting the people know. What are we letting the people know, Dylan? Let them know about the shows. We're letting them know about our local scene and whether you live in our local area or not. I don't care. Check them out. We don't care. Check the bands out. Facts. So... The first one we're getting started with, and again, these are some of our favorite shows with some bands that we may or may not know, (laughs) some bands that we're listening to for the first time, some bands that we're very familiar with. Totally. But nonetheless, very excited to see them. Okay? And now we're getting started with the first show that we have on our list that is on August 3rd. Now, this show is at the Haven in Pomona. And it is a banger of a lineup, I will say so myself. Sadly, it just got announced. I wish they announced that shit sooner. <clears throat> Why? Well, because I done asked uh, Jack from Kill Floor. I was like, hey, when you guys come to IE? Fuck, when was that? When I saw him in San Diego, like a while back. And they're over August 3rd. So he'd been told to me. Yo, Cactus Jack, shout out. Cactus shout Jack, out. shout out. But he'd been told to me. Shout out, got a nice little shiner. By the way, I, I asked him if he wants some food racks. I sent him to the nacho place. There you go. That's it. So hopefully, Blessed. hopefully they check it out. We'll see. But that's a banger of a lineup we got at the Haven on August 3rd. You got Holy Caravan opening up. Very doomy vibes. I love it. Personal, Personally a big fan that of That was sleep. the first time I heard them. First time I ever heard them I don't them even too. know where they're from. Personally, a big fan of the sound. And I will be very happy to check them out. It's going to be dope. Then you got Kill Floor, CVHC, Coachella Valley has been popping. And I'm so happy. So happy for Jack and Kill Floor. I'm so happy to see them down here in the IE. And um, I hope they get the buzz that they deserve. I was telling, like, uh, our friend Rick, he fucking posted posted them. Yes. And I told him, I was like, bro, I'd be singing this song at work all day. Just in my head. Just, it's just the lyrics. I don't know. They're so catchy. And Jack's a big supporter as well. He's a big supporter of his scene and every other scene that's local to him. So totally, um, totally. Let's 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 give him the energy that that Kill Floor deserves. You totally, know? give the energy that he gives out for real. Wig splitter, wig splitter, man. I have seen, I have seen some sets of them. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Violent, violent, violent. Hey, this whole lineup is violent. Yeah, the whole lineup is totally violent, especially um, getting into Marrow. The last three is fucking heavy. Marrow just uh, got signed to Barbaric Brutality. Shout out. Shout out. They're, hey, they're going up, baby. Big shout out. And, um, you know, they just dropped their newest project, The Serrated Edge. That was fire as well. I've seen them at the Haven uh, before. And... It's going to be good to see him again. I saw them at the large barber shop. That was wild. And for such a small place, for such a big band. Like, literally. That's like, scary. That's some big boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fucking big scary. Boys. And um, that's, that's the OC heavy right there. OC heavy, for real. OC meets the IE. Welcome. That's a, that's a firm handshake. I mean, they played here before, huh? Yeah, totally. Totally. And uh, Load the Nine. That's another band where... I have seen clips of them. Violence, violence, violence. Blood will be shed at this show on August the 3rd. The problem and is I gotta take the baby to this show, so I'm, uh, I'm hiding. Well, luckily, there's plenty of spots for, for babies to watch. You know what I mean? For the, for the big-ass truck show, the first show? People were going back there, man. All these shows are uh, <laughs> all ages, luckily. And I think all hardcore shows should be all ages. Totally. And last but not least, the headliner of this show is Pull Your Card. LAHC just dropped a project. Uh, when was it? A couple months ago, I would say. Man. I saw these guys for the first time at the small room at the midnight hour. I don't think I've ever been so scared during a show. Physically scared? <laughs> Fearing for my life. Have you ever been physically scared at a show? Like, legit? No, I have. I have. I have. I have. I have before that one as well. Like, Bog, uh, Sound of Fury? <laughs> Dude, those are... Oh, my God. Those are insane. <laughs> but but pull your card. Um, they just... Their crowd, the crowd that they pull is different. It's a lot of big boys. 
A oh, lot big, of big boy mosh. LA natives. That's a scary mosh, though. You know, big definitely, boy mosh is scary mosh. Definitely to me. scary mosh. And and the ones that 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 ride for them will die for them. They're badass, and I'm stoked to see them again. I'm stoked to see them for the first time ever. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And at the Haven too, our, yeah, our, our August third little spot. August third. Check it out. Next show is at the Gilmore. Another tiny, tiny spot with the infamous pole. Shout out! This is from Quarantine Records, right? Shout out Quarantine Records. Shout out yes, Quarantine sir. Records. This is the Straight Edge Anthem shit right here. This is <laughs> Straight the, Edge Anthem. This is the Straight Edge. Uh, this is a Straight Edge. So for sure. Long Beach natives, Major Pain. You got San Diego's one and only Abstain. Ma- Major Pain's OC. I thought they were Long Beach. Bulletin. I believe. Really? I think so. Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. I think I'm tripping. But oh well. Nonetheless, they're great and they're they're always dope to see. And you got the people from out east, baby. You got the people from out east: Ankle Biter, Broken, Broken Bow, Massachusetts Straight Edge, right? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them, I believe. Both of them, Massachusetts Straight Edge, and like we said, this is this is a whole Straight Edge show, and closing it all off. Firestarter. You got Firestarter. The most straight edge of them all, baby. Got the. You, I, have you have you caught them before? I have never seen them. I've caught them before. At the. At program, this was for Broken Sound Fest Festival, I believe. And. Very youth crewy. Definitely with the straight edge vibes. It's gonna be a good show. It, it's pretty crazy that we saw abstain and broken vow at a at a backyard show we did see them we <laughs> saw them we did we did totally yeah. broken um, vow got shut down like halfway through they replayed their set but crazy like now they're doing like a little tour they're just getting they're getting bigger yeah they're good for them dude yeah 100 percent. and they make it out here quite a bit i've seen this uh this will be their well to my knowledge their second time out here in, in california right so from from the Long Beach show and to this one, this is going to be their second time out here. But ankle biter as well, man. These guys are coming a long way. Make sure to support them. Buy the merch. One hundred percent. Really buy the touring bands merch for real. Buy their merch. Tip them. Mosh for them. Give them the energy they need, because they're going to need that energy on their long ass drive home. That's for sure. I'm just, I'm fucking. Ex- that's probably one of the shows I'm most excited for of the month. Really? Yeah. Really. Totally. Okay. Okay. Totally. Damn. And and because we do have a lot of banger shows this month, dude. And it sucks that we couldn't fit them all into this, right? Because there's so many good ones. But the next one that we're getting into, this is going to be, in my opinion, it's hard to say, but sweatiest mosh of them all. Sweatiest mosh. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's tied with, with another show that we got coming up. But this we have at the locker room in Orange County on August 8th. I'm sorry, August 9th, the day after the Gilmore. Wow, okay. You got <laughs> Pop Free, Execute, Lacuna, Ruin OC, Mero, Sueños, Whirlwind, and Smoke 909. To start it off, Pop Free, I caught him at the same event, Broken Sound Festival, that program. And um, it was a dope vibe, man. Dope vibe. Not the typical hardcore. violent hardcore uh-huh. that you would uh, expect from these lineups. And even like you add in Sueños in there too? Oh, Sueños in is there as like well? Is that like Shoegazy? What is that? I it, don't know. I it, just vibe with it. Shoegazy? Yeah, I would say so. But then again, totally a vibe. I'm no professor in this. Whatever. I'm just a casual. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I call this the homie show. This is the homie show. All the homies are playing. For real homie shows. The homies are bringing it. It's going to be good vibes. It's going to be lots of sweat. Make sure you're drinking water. Make sure you're taking your shirt off. (laughs) Um, With all the moshing, it's going to be insane. Slippery, sweaty, mosh. Real quick, just big shout out to Smoke909. They are playing mega big shows recently. Hella big shows. Yeah, shout out like to them, man. IE's fucking popping. That's what we fucking want. Then we got Execute after Pop Free. Right? That's that... Uh, that's that death. That's that death. That's that death sound. Lacuna. What, what, what is that? Melodic hardcore? I don't know. Three-man powerhouse. That's what that Three is. Three-man powerhouse, man. 
three man powerhouse. Man. And, and I know people <laughs> love them. I love Lacuna. I just caught them like fucking uh, a few days ago. I haven't checked them out much, but I definitely should. Bree's birthday bash, remember that? Yeah, that's the only time I've ever caught them. Fire. That's the only time I've ever caught them. And, it, and it, did, it did catch my ear, perked my ears up a bit. Yeah, three man powerhouse. But I think you're right, melodic hardcore. Then you got Ruin OC. They're going to hold it down in their hometown. They're going to do what they always do. And it's, the boys. it's always great to see the them. The boys. You got Mero again, also holding it down in their own hometown. Now they are going to bring the heavy to Orange County. <laughs> Where are Swenyus from? Are they IE? Not exactly sure. I don't know either. I just I've always seen him at the IE, only IE. And and is that shoegazy as well? I just said that we were talking about that earlier. Oh, that's right. Correct. Correct. Whirlwind. It's that's Long Beach, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, Long Beach. But nonetheless, sure. man, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Their singer Bubba, dude, I love. He he does little like funny things during his set. He always gets me cracking up. Shout out Bubba, bro. His style is immaculate. I love his style. That dude is, his style is goaded, for sure. Totally. That's what I think, at least. And Smoke909, man, just like you said, they've been, um, they've been doing big things, and they... IE on top. IE on, on top. top. They deserve every Everything. single piece of recognition they get, man. Because they're fucking badass, and they're working at How it. How was that torture show? Well, their set was, was great. Was their set was great. You know, they they That's awesome. They had um, they had Xavier, the singer of Upon Stone, right? Oh wow! There was there was a feature feature with him. I'm not sure if it's gonna be uh, an upcoming song or if it was a one off, but it sounded amazing. If y'all don't know Upon Stone, that's melodic hardcore. That's dank. That's dank right there. That's my shit. You want to go ahead and get us into the next show? Literally the day after. They're gonna kill us out here. They're gonna kill us out here. They're gonna fucking kill us. And this is the show that is <laughs> that is tied for um, sweatiest mosh. Totally. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Coachella Valley. It's gonna be death. I think this is sweaty. That yeah. This is sweatiest mosh for sure. Yeah. Yeah. At the flat black art supply somewhere in Coachella Valley. I think it's a uh, where's it at? Palm Desert, California. Yeah, Palm Desert. There you go. We got Execute, again, Death, Full Clip. Where are they from? I never heard of them. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Full Clip and Headspin. I'm not too familiar with those two, but I know um, Full Clip got the hooded mosher. On oh, their we cover. love that. We'd love to see the hooded mosher. Then we got always. Nine Deuce. Nine Deuce. Nine up. Deuce. Man, they're, they, got, they got the bops, dude. They, they... groovy. Make you move your feet. Make you want to shake your hips. <laughs> By the way, I just love watching Mosh, so I just get excited. Anytime you say some shit like that, it gets me happy. I don't know, man. It's just... Um, it. They're cool. By the way... S- stoked to see. Ruin and Marrow again. Again. OC, OC holding it down, man, for real. Good for them. And you know Good for them. looking back at these other these other lineups, Mero is putting in work. Shout out Mero. They're on three of the six that we have here today. And I think they were on another one. We just didn't put it. They uh, were on another potential one that, that that we had on this, but didn't quite make the cut. This is actually a really big show though. Because then you end it with big ass truck and smoked. Oh my god. Yeah, that's insane. And and is this the one that all oh, the locker room was a homie mosh? But I would even call this homie mosh. You think so? Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Then we got Corazón del Barrio. Corazón del Barrio. San Diego. Eight seventeen, August seventeenth. Now you're cooling it off a little bit, going a little closer to the coast, um, catching the breeze from the beach, maybe not inside the building. But during the breaks. Is now, the, you think this place is pretty big or what? Have you seen it? I, I've never been, but from what I've seen, they tend to have barriers, which is very unfortunate. Whack. And it is a, a, a pretty decent sized place, at least compared to the others that we're going to be going to. 
Um, now, they're starting it off with Serenity, right? They got that Mosh core, beautiful metal core. And I love that that type of stuff is making its way over here, making its way back, a revival of it all. And then you got Hereditary, man. San Diego Youngins. No introduction. No introduction. No introduction, no introduction needed. The young, the young bloods. What you got to say about Hereditary? Bouncy baby. Groovy see, that's, baby. See, that's the groovy stuff. I love those guys, man. I'll, I'll, I will rock for those guys any day of the week. Out of pocket. I'm actually. Uh, well, at Sound and Fury, that just gave me a whole different insight on them. I was like, "Fuck, sick, 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 sick." Need more. You need more. Of I it. need to see it more. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then that's RBS right there. Real bass shit. You got RBS hardcore, and um, that's extremely violent as well. And then you got the extreme violence from out east in New York. Who's that peeking in your window, baby? It's Missing Link. They're coming down to San Diego. They're coming down off that new album drop. Everyone's going to go fucking ape shit. Yeah, they're going to watch all of us bleed. That's for sure. Didn't that shit sell out like instantly? Within the day. Yeah, that one was insane. They had to do another they had to do another drop of pre-sale tickets because it was so requested. So requested. Yeah. And uh, Unfortunately, I couldn't catch the first drop of pre-sale tickets, but I got the second ones. So, luckily, I got the second ones. And then you got the San Diego Natives, the Goats, Mongrel, to headline it all. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We, we might got a fucking secret set here, baby. Potentially. Potentially. Potential secret set. Big maybe. Big maybe. That would be badass, though. I mean, when, when you see a... Uh, when you see a world of pain demon on the flyer, you can only assume. You can only assume. That'd be fucking and sick. Hope. Mostly hope. Mostly hope. Mostly hope. Um, but if if that happens, that corazón del barrio is gonna be. It's gonna get shut down. Toast. It's gonna get shut down. No barricade. Who knows what's gonna happen to that place? It might get demolished. Personally, my favorite show coming up. At the Haven. Is it your favorite show coming up? <laughs> totally. I'm so excited. It's my favorite show. August 24th. We got... Fuck. A Block. I thought it was D Block. No offense. Ticket says D Block. Like you said. Flyer says A Block. I'm a little retarded. You got Bayway, Hold My Own, Des Madre, and E-Town Concrete. How often are you going to get to see E-Town Concrete in the IE for one, let alone like California? me i know they've been pretty active recently but they are an older band totally right so early thousands so um just like you were saying how often are you getting to see something like that and not to, very and to have it here in here. our local scene arms reach within arms reach literally i'm i'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be touching this man you know, Hoser and I are pulling up in uh, gray sweats for sure. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but sure. <laughs> now this show is gonna be—it's gonna be a great show. Awesome, awesome fucking show. Yeah. Bayway, I'm so excited to see. I didn't get to catch them when they were out here a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Sad. They made it out here in LA for Armageddon Fest. Very, fo very much FOMO. Major FOMO. And not missing it. Going back to Armageddon Fest, they did not get the. Uh, there was some complications with tickets and doors and stuff like that. So, there was some confusion, as far as um, if if, because it was a two day thing. So mm -hmm. there's there was some cu confusion as far as if it was going to happen or not. So I think that's why um, Armageddon Fest wasn't as packed as it should have been because the lineup was insane, right? But. Again, same people that were at Armageddon Fest, Hold My Own, Chicago Natives, 100% pure hardcore. Um, they were just down here Yeah. the other week before Sound and Fury. Yeah, the Thursday before Sound and Fury, they just played a show. And, and then a little guest spot for Weekend Nacho, Sound and Fury, that was dope. Did you catch that? I didn't catch that. Hey. Chicago supports Chicago. That's what it is. And yeah, we, totally. 
and hardcore supports hardcore. That's what it is. Honestly, I'm just most excited to see Bayway and Eton Concrete. I th that's it. And then I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely most excited to see Bayway. Huge fan. Huge fan. <laughs> Huge fan. What's your I name, will man? Say. What's your name, man? Holzer. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'm Holzer. <laughs> and then you got this Madre. Right. Those guys. Uh, those Major turnout for Sound of Fury. They've been putting in work, too. Totally Major been putting in work. I need to put on an album, though. Where's the new music? I need an album. They've been dropping new music. What's your about? I, one song? I want more? Yeah, they need to drop an album for sure. Yeah, we, for need, we need the LP. Yeah. And just like you were saying, E-Town, Jersey Natives, they're going to shut it down. Respect to the OGs for sure. Respect to the OGs. For sure. It's going to be great to see that, especially as a, as a new Jack, you know, seeing the, the, the older band. I just hope like the the younger generation kind of fucking listens to the old shit the death threat well the demons shit like that you know I mean e -town. from what we saw at Sound and Fury with Demonstration of Power and that uh, death threat cover it seems like they weren't we do <laughs> uh, it seems like four of you did in the front <laughs> <laughs> seems like four of you guys in the front knew the words and then everyone else is just moshing but sweatiest mosh is for sure gonna be Coachella. At Flatback Art Supply. This is Coachella Valley Hardcore. If they got one thing, it's heat. Not only the fucking sun, but the bands. Sucks Kill Floor couldn't make it on that show, but... Yeah, very sad Kill Floor couldn't make it. Explain yourself. <laughs> very sad Kill Floor couldn't make it on that. <laughs> but um, luckily we'll be catching them at, a, at another show. Totally. This has been another episode of our monthly roundup for August of 2024. And if you're going to do anything, support touring bands, support your local scene. What else? Hmm. Don't be a weirdo. <laughs> Don't be a weirdo. Don't steal fucking covers, piece of shit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, being a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, peace. <laughs>